Audios A. Once the marathon shoot. Before I give a review on it, it's time to lace up the audios and take it for a walk. <laughs> This is the Adidas Audi Zero Audios 8, where Adidas made a combination of the modern approach and design mixed with the old school feel. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Let's go over the specs. So we got 28 millimeter stack height in the heel with an eight millimeter drop in the front. So the front is 20 millimeter stack height. In the rear, you have the Lightstrike 2.0. In the front, you have the Lightstrike Pro Foam. And at the bottom, where the three rods are coming out of, that is the Adidas new torsion rods. It is not a carbon plate, but it's just to help with the stability. Protecting all the foam and the torsion rod is your continental rubber that they put a, a layer on top of the torsion rods and another layer in the heel area. On the upper of the shoe, it's similar to their race day shoes. It's the mesh on here is very transparent because of the holes are pretty big. It's good because during summer times, it's very ventilated. So the total weight of this shoe comes in at 7.2 ounces in size men 9. In size woman 8, it comes in 6.5 ounces which is very light. Okay, so those are the specs on the shoe. So let's talk about how it is when you run in it. So this is my first time wearing an audio shoe. So it feels like very low to the ground when you're running. This is very suitable if you're preparing for a 5K race. Keep in mind, this is a very neutral shoe. Yes, it does have the energy torsion rods to help with the stability, but don't think for a second this is a very stable shoe. To be honest, when you're running it for the first time, it takes a few runs to get used to it. But I think this really helps out with working on your stride, your form, because sometimes when you run in a max stack shoe, you're not able to adjust your form as easily as if you were running in this shoe, because this is very low to the ground and you can feel like connected with the earth. If you're new to running, I'm letting you know now, if your form is not great, it will show when you wear the shoe. And personally for myself, that's what I wanted because I needed to know how to improve my form. And you know it right away. If you feel tired at the very end of your run, you will feel your form not that well in the shoe. So it's about learning how to correct that form right away so you're able to continue to run for a long period of time it was really fun taking this out on the track running the 400 meters you can really go as fast as you want to the thing is you really you got to know how to control your form if you don't know how to control your form it will bring chaos <laughs> it'll be very difficult because at the end of the day yes we're here to have fun but we also need to perfect our forms. And this is a great shoe to do that because you're able to collect data in your mind from experience and running in this shoe and adjusting on the fly. You can't really say that with many other shoes because you're not able to gather that data because you can't, you don't have that feeling when you run into the shoe. Compared to other shoes, I'm able to know whether I'm landing particularly wrong on my foot when I'm wearing this shoe. Now, it's not like a set it or forget it type of shoe. For example, like an ASIC Nimbus 25. You really got to pay attention when you run in this shoe. This is definitely one of the best fitting upper that the Adidas has made. Not only that, the toe box, it feels very comfortable. For those of you who tried like, for example, like a, a Nike shoe that's very narrow in the toe box, 
this is not narrow it's very comfortable very wide and i definitely recommend it for those who have wide foot here's why i think that adidas has made the audios lineup i think comparing to other lineups that they have like the takumi sen 9s pro 3 this does have a place in the lineup and i'm glad adidas are hitting so many different categories of runners especially for someone who are new i think this is very beginner friendly because you want to take out those bad forms that you're running right away and this shoe you're able to adapt pretty quickly honestly is because when you know your form is not right you know right away and the audios lineup do have a place in the racing scene for some people they might go with the Kizumi Sin 9 on the 5k but it's different for everyone and I think Adidas know that and they want to reach out to each category of runners so I definitely love this shoe um, as far as like the look aesthetically it looks very cool I love putting on this shoe because there's times where as runners you know you have your off days and when I put this on the look aesthetically itself just uplift me a little bit more than I normally would with other shoes in my rotation and it just looks cool <laughs> so let's talk about pairing option so as you guys know I consider this as a great daily trainer for speed run so what better way to pair it up with another speed shoe you guessed it right it's the Nike Vaporfly Next% 3 <laughs> why I think this is a great pairing option is because when I start running in the Audios 8 and then I swap it out with this on race day the Vaporfly 3s the transition is so smooth because it's very similar in weight it's not much difference and so whenever you go from a shoe that's very similar in weight it's very easy to adjust not only that whenever I run in a shoe I'm really landing mostly on the toe area not so much on the midfoot and you're just able to run a lot quicker in this shoe compared to the Audios 8 of course because it has a carbon plate but it's great pairing option because you don't want to train well I want to say you don't want to train in a carbon plate but those for us who are beginners who are looking for something more affordable Nike often does discounts on the Vaporfly 3s so it's very you know a lot less than it normally is so whenever you're training with heavier shoes like the Nimbus 25 then you go to the Audios 8 which is lighter then you just go even lighter your body is just able to run for a lot longer and run a lot quicker the foam on here the Zoom X is very comfortable you can run a lot of miles on this shoe and not feel anything that's why I think it would be a great pairing option that's all I have for today thank you for making it to the end of this video love you guys have a good one